Imagine saying, I'm a man. From where? From Canada. What? Wait, you're a man from Canada? Can't be. Dre commented on this post and gave the green light to Andrew Tate. So if any of the Tates ever go missing, we know who did it. <laughs> this dude cannot be serious. Stop the little Drakey got his feelings hurt, so he's gonna act gangster. <laughs> Putting a hit on him <laughs> because you got your feelings hurt. <laughs> Putting a hit on Andrew Tate for saying that uh, you can't be a man up from Canada. <laughs> you ain't a gangster. You think you're a G. But you're really just a soft widow with a boy. You're proving his point by getting offended and saying green light and trying to get at him by putting a fake hit on him. And people were getting the internet, oh, Drake's hard. We need to think he's hard again. <laughs> you ain't putting no hit on him, bro. We all know you ain't putting no hit. And yes, technically, Drake is rich so he could get gangsters to do it for him, yeah. But him acting gangster is just hilarious to me. Like, yo... <laughs> You could put a hit on me, bro, and I would still laugh at you. Because how could I die by this? Like, <laughs> if you think this is bad and this is insulting to you, you should see exactly the other clips making fun of your ass. <laughs> yo, yo, I cannot with Drake right now. Ain't nobody taking you serious, bro. You ain't ever been convicted or even, like, have you even been, like, Searched by the law? Have you even been investigated? It, it, 6 and 9 was right when he said you're not a real gangster. Nobody actually investigated you. And I'm not saying it's good to be a gangster. Um, being a gangster probably sucks because you have to kill people and you yourself will go to end up going to prison eventually and your whole life will be ruined. It's a terrible thing to do. It's a terrible thing to be. Which is why it's weird that you're pretending to be a gangster when you've never even been investigated. <laughs> And you're trying to say you're putting a hit on Drake. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Sure, buddy. You're putting a hit on Drake. <laughs> okay. I'm not claiming to be the gangster. I'm no gangster. But you certainly aren't. You ain't no gangster. You with your soft little hands. <laughs> Bruh. Drake the type of guy to get upset that he said men can't be men in Canada. And put a hit on him. <laughs> <laughs> it's only getting worse. Why do you think people clown you? Why do you think people clown you so much, Drake? It's not because you're famous in this. No, it's because you're pathetic. It's because you take these jokes so seriously. It's because when you get mad and offended, and all, even people who witness this, witness the class clowns do stuff like this, when there is a guy that gets offended at my joke, I only make more jokes about him. Because it's only more funny. Other people find it more funny. It is more funny looking at his reactions. It is more funny offending him. And it is more funny because of how serious and mad he is. Why do you think Ron Burgundy had such a field day with Peter Dinklage when he was trying to take the whole podcast seriously and he was just trolling him the whole time? Or should I say Will Ferrell? Yeah. Because he was so offended. So the fact that you were offended is making people laugh at you more. It was just making this more hilarious. It makes it so we can't take you serious, bro. The comedians especially. But within even everyone around you is just laughing at you because they know that you are not about that life. And it's like, you know, uh, that really privileged, like, uh, you know, privileged white kid who um, pulls a Swiss army knife on the hood kid. That is what you're doing to Andrew Tate. <laughs> you're trying to say that you're hard, and then you just get humiliated when he pulls out his switchblade. Yeah, I've seen that happen. It's the funniest thing ever. There's no hurting people, but it's funny to see that one guy try to act hard and thinks it's all fine and he's going to be fine, and then the, the, the guy checks him. <laughs> this is how we're seeing you right now. It's completely hilarious. I can't even speak because I'm so flabbergasted by this that you would put a hit on a dude. For hurting your feelings. You ain't a G. You're not gangster. And you shouldn't want to be gangster. It's weird this culture we're putting around. But you're the fakest gangster of them all. You haven't even been investigated. And you're going to say you're putting a hit on Andrew Tate. <laughs> you of all people. Yeah. You're a real threat. You're a real threat. <laughs> yeah. You and your soft little hands. Getting up. If you get offended at something he said about Canadians. Then you're only implying that to yourself. 
And if anything, this is your fault, among many other Canadians in the liberalization and the complete and utter, um, I don't know, demasculinity of Canadians. Because, what, 10, 20 years ago? No, not 20, I haven't been alive for that long. Almost, like a couple, even five years ago, people would say, when they think of Canada, we think of these ice-hold, basically modern Viking guys.